Hola and welcome to Pro Spanish. Over the next 20 minutes, you're going to see just how quickly you can learn everyday conversational Spanish. For our more advanced subscribers, you may want to skip straight forward to the more advanced part of this video. The time frame is coming up now, uh, or you may want to stay with us anyway for the extra practice. Okay, let's get started. Now, very often in conversation, we want to use less formal language. So, for example, instead of saying, would you like uh, to go to the cinema? We'd say, do you fancy going to the cinema? Do you fancy doing this? Are you up for it? And that's what we're going to focus on in the first part of this lesson. But we're not going to be focusing on just the one interaction. I'll be showing you how you can take apart this language and reuse it in lots of different contexts. So let's start with some things that you might want to invite somebody to do to see if they're up for something, if they fancy doing something. So, ir al cine, to go to the cinema, to the movies. Ir al cine, you can see cinema in cine, ir al cine. To go to a concert, ir a un concierto. Ir a, to go to, un concierto, a concert. Ir a un concierto. And if you're new to pro-Spanish, uh, it's important to know that you don't have to try to remember this. Uh, that process will happen automatically throughout the lesson. You don't have to be thinking, oh, I need to um, write this down so that I can remember it all. So, ir a un concierto, to go to a concert. Ir al cine, to go to the cinema. Let's have another going somewhere. Ir a la playa. Ir a la playa, to go to the beach. And then we'll just have to go out. Salir, like to sally forth, to go out. Salir, to go out. And hacer algo, to do something. Hacer algo, to do something. And we may invite somebody to do these things mañana, tomorrow. Mañana. Mañana, mañana, tomorrow. Or this night. In other words, tonight. This night, esta noche. Esta noche is this night. Esta noche, tonight. How would you say, to go to the beach tomorrow? What would that be? Ir a la playa mañana. Ir a la playa mañana, to go to the beach tomorrow. And what about to go out tonight? What would that be? Salir esta noche. Salir esta noche, to go out tonight. And let's add in conmigo. Conmigo is with me. One word, conmigo, with me. How would you say to go out with me? Salir conmigo. Salir conmigo. To go out with me. How about to do something with me? What would that be? To do something with me. Hacer algo conmigo. Hacer algo conmigo. To do something with me. Hacer algo conmigo. And if you're thinking to yourself, gosh, there's a lot, there's no way I'm going to remember all this. As I mentioned before, don't worry about that. Just follow the instructions. Okay, and go into the first column. We're going to have, do you fancy? So, are you up for this? Would you like to do this? Te apetece? Te apetece? Te apetece? So, do you fancy doing whatever? Are you up for doing this? And you can see in there, apetece, you can see part of the word for appetite. So the root, the original roots of this would be also to do with appetite. Do you have the appetite for this? Te apetece, do you fancy? Okay, now just listen to the phrases that I'm going to say. Look at this table and follow along 
and try to work out what the phrase means. ¿Te apetece ir a un concierto mañana? ¿Te apetece ir a un concierto mañana? Do you fancy going to a concert tomorrow? Would you like to go to a concert tomorrow? ¿Te apetece salir esta noche? ¿Te apetece salir esta noche? Do you fancy going out tonight? ¿Te apetece hacer algo conmigo? ¿Te apetece hacer algo conmigo? Do you fancy doing something with me? ¿Te apetece ir a la playa mañana? ¿Te apetece ir a la playa mañana? Do you fancy going to the beach tomorrow? ¿Te apetece ir al cine conmigo? ¿Te apetece ir al cine conmigo? Do you fancy going to the cinema with me, to the movies with me? ¿Te apetece hacer algo esta noche? ¿Te apetece hacer algo esta noche? Do you fancy doing something tonight? ¿Te apetece ir a un concierto mañana? ¿Te apetece ir a un concierto mañana? Do you fancy going to a concert tomorrow? And this isn't on there, but what do you think it would mean if I said, ¿Te apetece un café? ¿Te apetece un café? Do you fancy a coffee? Or it might be something a bit stronger. ¿Te apetece una copa de vino? ¿Te apetece una copa de vino? Do you fancy a glass of wine? Okay, we're going to use the same language, but go a step further. So we're going to fill in the gaps. ¿Te apetece? Do you fancy? And what will it be here? We look down here, going out. So it is, ¿Te apetece salir? ¿Te apetece salir? Esta, we look down here, it's tonight, so it's esta noche. I will find noche. ¿Te apetece salir esta noche? Do you fancy going out this night or tonight? And the gap from here is, do you, and it's from te apetece, so do you fancy? Do you fancy going out tonight? Okay, on to the next one. So we're starting the English is do you fancy? So it's te apetece. Te apetece. Do you fancy? Te apetece ir a la. And it's do you fancy going to the beach? So te apetece ir a la playa. Mañana. And the English translation and the gaps. Do you fancy, and it's, te apetece ir, so do you fancy going to the beach, and mañana is tomorrow. Apetece, we know it for do you fancy, it's te apetece. So let's find te. Te apetece, do you fancy and to a concert. Well, it's going to be going to a concert. So, do you fancy to go to a concert? Te apetece ir a un concierto. And this night, so tonight, esta noche. And the English version, do you fancy going to a... And it's ir a un concierto. So, going to a 
concept tonight. Next one. Te apetece algo. Do you fancy doing? So te apetece hacer. Te apetece hacer. Do you fancy doing something? And tomorrow. Mañana. And the English. Do you fancy doing? And algo is something. Tomorrow. Okay, last one. Okay, we've got a lot of gaps now. So we're starting off with do you fancy? So that would be Te apetece, do you fancy? Do you fancy doing or do you fancy to do? Te apetece hacer something. What something? We could look up here if we were stuck. Algo. Esta, so this night, esta noche. ¿Te apetece hacer algo esta noche? Do you fancy doing, hacer something, and esta noche is tonight. And we'll just take a quick pause there while I mention our very popular Levels 1 to 6 course. This takes the complete beginner or a near beginner right up to a conversational level of Spanish in a series of very easy to follow steps. All the lessons on this YouTube channel are supplementary, whereas the core levels one to six is very much a step-by-step -step program delivered by the same teacher as all the other videos on the Pro Spanish YouTube channel. And while the style is very similar to what you'll be used to from these videos on the channel, the key difference is that every lesson carefully builds on the previous lessons so that you can really feel that progress of going from very little or no Spanish up to a level where you can confidently hold a conversation in Spanish. So again, that's available exclusively from prospanish.co.uk. Back to the grid now. I'll ask you to create a sentence. And if at all possible, do it without looking at the grid. But if you need to, then obviously that's that's fine as well. So how would you say, do you fancy going to the beach tomorrow? ¿Te apetece ir a la playa mañana? ¿Te apetece ir a la playa mañana? And I should have mentioned before that if you're new to Pro Spanish, you need to pause the video to give yourself some thinking time. I leave a little gap, but it might not be enough for you to process the answer you want to give. How about, do you fancy going out tonight? ¿Te apetece salir esta noche? ¿Te apetece salir esta noche? How about, do you fancy doing something with me tomorrow? ¿Te apetece hacer algo conmigo mañana? ¿Te apetece hacer algo conmigo mañana? What about, do you fancy going to a concert tonight? ¿Te apetece ir a un concierto esta noche? And let's have a brief look now at the kind of responses we could give. Well, we could start with Lo siento, lo siento, I'm sorry. Lo siento, necesito, I need. So necesito, a bit like necessary, necesito. So I'm sorry, I need, and we can have what I need to do. So let's just take two that are quite easy to remember. Estudiar, to study. Trabajar, to work. So how would you say, well, let's do it the other way around. What would it mean if I said, ah, lo siento, necesito estudiar. I'm sorry, I need to study. And we could even use language that uh, we've learnt previously. So what would it mean if I said, 
Ah, lo siento. Necesito trabajar esta noche. Lo siento. Necesito trabajar esta noche. What would that mean? I'm sorry. I need to work tonight. How about if I said, Lo siento. Necesito estudiar mañana. Lo siento. Necesito estudiar mañana. I'm sorry. I need to study tomorrow. And again, using something from the previous table, how would you say, I'm sorry, I need to do something tomorrow. I'm sorry, I need to do something tomorrow. What would that be? Lo siento. Necesito hacer algo mañana. Lo siento. Necesito hacer algo mañana. How would you say, I'm sorry, I need to go out tomorrow. I'm sorry, I need to go out tomorrow. What would that be? Lo siento. Necesito salir mañana. Lo siento. Necesito salir mañana. Okay, I haven't spent that much time on this second part because it would be a bit of overload. It's more just to give you an idea of how quickly you can learn Spanish when the course sequences language in the in the right way. And just before we move on to the more advanced part of this video, a quick reminder that the full Levels 1 to 6 course is available for download from prospanish.co.uk. En esta parte más avanzada, queremos aprender la estructura without him doing something, without her doing something. I did it without him seeing me. I managed it, or I managed to do it, without her noticing. Entonces es esa estructura without him, her doing something. Entonces, vamos a empezar primero con... Lo hice. Lo hice. I did it. Lo hice. I did it. Y después, lo conseguí. Lo conseguí. I managed it. Or I managed to do it. Lo conseguí. I managed it. I achieved it. Después tenemos sin que. Sin que. Y finalmente tenemos nuestras frases. Por ejemplo, I did it without him seeing me. Without her helping me. Entonces, primero, me viera. Me viera. Y puedes ver que todas estas frases están en el subjuntivo. El subjuntivo en el pasado. Porque nuestra frase se trata de, del pasado. Lo hice. I did it. Lo conseguí. I managed it. Entonces, la frase está en el pasado. Entonces, el subjuntivo es el pasado también. Entonces, el subjuntivo imperfecto es el, es el nombre correcto. Y tenemos que emplear el subjuntivo porque siempre después de sin que va el subjuntivo. Sin que más subjuntivo siempre. Entonces, la estructura, literalmente, en inglés, sería 
I did it. Without that, he saw me. Lo hice sin que me viera. I did it without that, he saw me. Or she saw me. But of course we would say, nosotros diríamos, I did it without him seeing me, or without her seeing me. Bueno, vamos a ver estas frases primero, antes de hablar más sobre eso. Me viera, he or she saw me, en su juntivo. Me ayudara, he or she helped me. Entonces, I did it without that she helped me. I did it without her helping me. Después, se diera cuenta. He or she realized. I managed it without that she realized. Or he realized. Pero, en inglés decimos, I managed it without her seeing me. Después, se enfadara. He or she got angry. I did it without that. She got angry. Pero más normal es decir, I did it without her getting angry. Ahora, mira la tabla. Escucha las frases y piensa en el significado en inglés. Lo hice sin que se diera cuenta. 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 I did it without her realizing. Or I did it without him realizing. And of course the literal translation, la traducción literal, sería I did it without that she realized or he realized. Lo conseguí sin que me viera. Lo conseguí sin que me viera. I managed it without him or her seeing me. Lo conseguí sin que se enfadara. Lo conseguí sin que se enfadara. I managed it without him or her getting angry. I managed it without her getting angry. Lo hice sin que me ayudara. Lo hice sin que me ayudara. I did it without her helping me. Or I did it without him helping me. Bien. Ahora, en esta parte del vídeo, hay que rellenar los huecos. Entonces, lo... y aquí pone I did it. Entonces, es lo hice. I did it, lo hice. Sin que... him seeing me. Sin que... me viera. Lo hice sin que me viera. I did it sin que without him seeing me. Ahora aquí lo pues se pone I managed it lo conseguí. I managed it. Lo conseguí sin que me Without her helping, sin que me ayudara, el subjuntivo, 
pasado de ayudar. Lo conseguí sin que me ayudara. I managed it without her helping me. Me. Siguiente. I did it. Lo hice. Lo hice. I did it. Sin que. Which is realizing. Sin que. Se diera. Sin que se diera. Cuenta. Lo hice sin que se diera cuenta. I did it. Sin que. Without. Without him realizing. Literalmente sería. I did it. Without that. He realized. Vale, última frase aquí. Lo conseguí. Without. Sin. Lo conseguí sin que. Se. Without her getting. Sin que se. Enfadara. Lo conseguí sin que se enfadara. I. Managed it. Lo conseguí. Without her getting. Angry. Literalmente. I managed it. Without that. She got angry. Ahora vamos a volver a la tabla original. Y ahora tienes que intentar decir la frase en castellano. Y si es posible, sin mirar la tabla. Pero por supuesto, si hace falta, se puede hacer. Entonces, en castellano, ¿cómo se dice? I managed it without him helping me. Lo conseguí sin que me ayudara. Lo conseguí sin que me ayudara. I did it without him realizing. Lo hice sin que se diera cuenta. Lo hice sin que se diera cuenta. I managed it without her getting angry. Lo conseguí sin que se enfadara. Lo conseguí sin que se enfadara. I did it without her seeing me. Lo hice sin que me viera. Lo hice sin que me viera. Y si queremos cambiar estas frases a, al plural, al they, I did it without that they saw me, or without them seeing me, simplemente añademos la letra N, vieran, they saw, subjuntivo, ayudaran, they helped, subjuntivo, se dieran cuenta, they realized, subjuntivo, se enfadaran, they got angry. Entonces, ¿cómo sería? I did it without them realizing. Lo hice sin que se dieran cuenta. Lo hice sin que se dieran cuenta. Literalmente, I did it without that they realized. Pero decimos, I did it without them realizing. Lo conseguí sin 
que se enfadaran. Lo conseguí sin que se enfadaran. I did it without them seeing me. Lo hice sin que me vieran. Lo hice sin que me vieran. And that concludes today's Pro Spanish lesson. As mentioned earlier, if you're looking to become a confident and a competent speaker of Spanish, head over to prospanish.co.uk where you can download the full Levels 1 to 6 course.